Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Morton Power here. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, weekend one of the Call of Duty World War II beta has finally come to an end. And I've spent this whole weekend um, trying to grind videos for you guys so that we'd have something during the week where we don't have the beta to play just to look at. So today what we're going to do, and over the next couple of days, we're going to be taking a look at some of the guns that I really, really liked. Uh, or some of the main and popular guns used in the beta and we're just going to take a look at them and uh, see how they play in the game the uh, map that we're on in this gameplay is going to be Point Du Hoc and I am using today the PPSH this gun is it's in the submachine gun category I believe it's the second or it's the first one you unlock it's the se second submachine gun in the game um, it's the only it was the first uh, submachine gun that I used because I was using the uh, preset of classes up to this point because the grease gun was atrocious but I absolutely love the submachine gun class and I have another uh, video on the type 100 coming uh, later this week so what we're gonna talk about today is just some of the rough basic stats um, I can't get into numbers with you but some of the things that I liked um, from this gun um, the recoil on this gun is and recoil is a big thing for me because I'm not the most accurate guy um, in the world when it comes to FPS games and the recoil is actually manageable um, this gameplay that you're seeing is actually with no attachments the only attachment you're gonna see is the detachable suppressor but I have no attachments I believe this was the uh, first time I've unlocked the gun so I have no attachments on it um, the recoil is absolutely manageable um, the damage is uh, it's really good it's a uh, good from close to mid-range um, the damage starts trailing off uh, once you get to those longer ranges but um, some other thoughts that I have on the gun is the iron sights on this gun are actually really really good and I know it's not uh, not using an optic doesn't really matter in this game anymore because we're or in Call of Duty for right now because we don't have the pick 10 system. I use this gun without an optic, um, at least for now. Um, I might toy with a reflex sight um, because I really actually like the reflex sight in this game. Um, but like I said earlier, it's better um, and it's good at small to mid ranges. So what I would say is use this gun. In small to mid maps uh, or mid range maps, uh, what I wouldn't do is use this on Ardenus Forest or whatever that map's called. I tried using that gun or this gun on that map, but it wasn't that great. That's actually more of an assault rifle map, but we'll get to that in another video. This gun is amazing with the suppressor. Um, it does add additional recoil, but that recoil is manageable still, even without um, a grip. Um, you probably can't tell that from my uh, my gameplay because I'm spraying, I'm kind of all over the place in this gameplay. It is manageable. I actually, in previous Call of Duty games, I thought suppressors um, were not viable because um, if you're just trying to run um, a stealth class and you're on like a small map, um, it works, but it the decrease in range uh, was too significant for me to actually consider using it but in this game I actually found myself playing better with the suppressor because you get the added benefit of being stealthy on the map and I don't believe it decreases the range as much as previous Call of Duty's let me know in the comment section if um, those of you who actually can tell stats um, uh, if that does or not but um, some things I would recommend on this class is I would um, if you want to you can either use grip or quick draw grip if you're like me um, and you need a little extra help managing that recoil or um, quick draw just so that you can help um, engage those gunfights quicker by bringing your uh, gun up quicker um, I would also use I can't remember what the name of the uh, basic training uh, perk thing is but it's the one that's like scavenger where it um, resupplies bullets whenever you kill an enemy I would use that because you only get uh, 30 you only get 105 bullets total and this gun has a pretty good uh, fire rate um, and you once you get at those longer ranges you're gonna be sinking bullets into people so you're gonna want to resupply those bullets as much as you can I would also use extended mag on this gun 
uh, just so that you have those extra base bullets when you start the game so you're not having to uh, pick up um, random weapons as much as possible. You can stick with your game plan and use the gun that you're wanting to use. Um, but overall, I love this gun. This is actually one of the best submachine guns that I've ever gotten to play with. It is a really good all-around gun um, from the range to the damage to the recoil. It's just, it's a great gun. It's like the CUDA from Black Ops 3. You come right into the game if, um, and it's not too much to unlock this gun uh, for right now in the beta at least. I don't know how that's going to be in the full build of the game, but you've got a really good gun right at the beginning of the game. And actually, this and the Type 100 were all uh, relatively quick unlocks, and I believe those are the best two guns in the game. Uh, so that goes to show you that um, even though you get the grease gun at the very beginning, um, you if you wait a little bit and you're, you're patient a little bit, um, you'll get the PPSH and the Type 100 relatively quickly. Uh, for those of you Xbox One players uh, that'll be getting the beta, our first hands on the beta this weekend. Um, but that's actually going to do it for this video. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment. Um, if there's some uh, videos for week two of the beta that you want to see me do, I already have my uh, my set of um, videos for this week. But let me know if there's some videos you want me to uh, do over um, weekend number two. And if you enjoyed, leave a like. Like I said, uh, comment what you think. If you've gotten to play the beta, what you think of um, the PPSH. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more videos uh, like this video here, um, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell. Um, Turn notifications on, tap the bell so you'll get a notification every time that I upload a video. And as always guys, I will catch y'all on the next video.